How are you going guys? It's Stephen here from Hobby King with a very exciting product profile for the Durafly BF109E. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time, it's now here. And as you can see, we have both of these aircraft in a fantastic scale scheme. From the Battle of Britain, which is the yellow nose one in front of me here, and the tropical one here, which you can see in this mottled camouflage. We're going to go to the studio, put it all together, show you what comes in the box, and then we'll take it for a fly. So the Durafly BF109E is here, it's in the box. We'll go through all the parts, we'll do the build, we'll see you soon. So all the parts are laid on the table. Inside the fuselage, you'll have the pre-installed ESC motor and elevator and rudder servo. With the wing, you have the pre-installed landing gear and the pre-installed servos to operate your flaps and your ailerons. Your elevator, which comes in two parts with a carbon spar running between the two and your ball link connection there for your elevator. The three bladed 11.5 by eight inch propeller, all the scale accessories plus the hardware and the decals to give you two choices with this color scheme. And of course, the bomb. Who wouldn't want to drop a bomb from a German aeroplane? So before we assemble all the main components, what you want to do with all of the Durafly models is to make sure we flex all the control surfaces to loosen the joint, therefore we don't put much strain on the servos. So, on with the build. So the most time consuming part of this build is applying the stickers or decals to the model. As you can see we supply a vast range for you scale police guys out there of all the different stickers or transfers or stencils that might have been applied to the BF-109 back in World War II. We've applied some of the main stickers here as you can see and what we've used is a little bit of foam packing just to give it some support so you don't damage the model when you apply the stickers. Also one thing you'll notice is one side we have the swash sticker not applied and one side we have it applied. It gives you the option to either put it on or not put it on. Now when you apply the decals to the Durafly model you'll see that they're very thin so to give you a little bit of help we've given a clear plastic backing so when you apply the sticker it keeps the transfer or the decal in place. Alright guys on with the build. So once you've adjusted all your servo or control services and also attached all your ball link connections, then we need to screw it together. There's no gluing required with the main wing and the tail plane. Now with the main wing, when you bolt it together, you'll see there's two screws here and two screws at the back. The front ones are four millimeter by 10 millimeter and the back one are three millimeter by 10 millimeter. You simply put the wing on, push your wires through and then bolt it together. Now when you attach the main wing you can see there's two holes in the fuselage. There's a small one and the large one. The large one is to take your flap, aileron and gear servo leads and the small one at the front here is for your bomb release. Now that just goes through there, gives you a nice tight even fit. Alright guys, on with the build. So guys, with the main wing bolted together and the tail plane screwed on, you can see that the undercarriage has now been deployed and you can really see that 109 stance. So all that's left to do is to tidy up the electronics, plug that into a receiver and then glue on all of our scale accessories. Alright guys, onto the build. So in front of us we have the completed Durafly BF109E. I've got it set up to a transmitter and as you can see in there I've got a graphene 2200 4 cell neatly tucked away in the front. You'll find the manual on our files tab in the product listing. It's in PDF format so you can download it to your device and that way you can access all of the information you need to build the BF109 and make sure that you balance your scale three bladed propeller. And now to run through some of the specifications of the BF109. The wingspan is 1100 millimetres long which is 43 and a bit inches. The length is 980 millimetres long. Up front we have a three bladed 11 and a half by eight inch propeller. Now spinning that propeller, you have an Aerostar 3736 770 kV brushless outrunner motor. And powering that motor 
is a Aerostar 50 amp ESC with an onboard BEC. Pre-installed, we have seven nine gram servos. This includes the ailerons, elevator, rudder, flaps, and of course, the bomb release. With an all up weight of 1180 grams without the battery, this is a fantastic lightweight flying warbird. So that completes the build for the Durafly BF109E. Now let's take it up for a fly. So guys, that's the Durafly BF109E, available now at hobbyking.com. A big massive thank you to goes out to the whole Durafly team and Tom Hunt. Without Tom Hunt's design and input, you wouldn't have these fantastic aircraft. Thank you, Tom Hunt. For more information, see the links below, and remember to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I'm Stephen from Hobby King, see you next time.